Welcome to lecture 21, section 7.1 of the text Elementary Linear Algebra by Ron Larson, 7th edition, Sengage Learning. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors. This is Dr. Gilbert Iyabi. What are the goals of our lecture today? Number one, verify eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors. Find eigenvalues and corresponding eigenspaces. Use the characteristic equation to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a triangular matrix. Let us begin by introducing the eigenvalue problem. This section, section 7.1, presents one of the most important problems in linear algebra known as the eigenvalue problem. And the question is this. If A is an n by n matrix, do non-zero vectors x in the vector space Rn exist such that Ax equals lambda x? A is a matrix n by n. Lambda is a vector. Can I really find non-zero vectors such that Ax equals lambda x for some scalar, some real number x? So this is the eigenvalue problem. Let's look at the definitions of eigenvalue and eigenvector. Let A be an n by n matrix. Then we say lambda is an eigenvalue of A if there exists a non-zero vector x such that Ax equals lambda x. x is known as the eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda. Interesting. Theorem. Eigenvectors of the eigenvalue lambda form a subspace. So let A be an n by n matrix and let lambda be an eigenvalue of A. Define W to be the set of all x such that x is an eigenvector of lambda union the singleton with the zero vector. i.e. W is the set of all x so that Ax equals lambda x union the singleton that has the element, the zero vector. Claim W is a subspace known as the eigenspace of lambda. All you have to do here is recall your subspace criterion. Use that to prove that W as defined is a subspace of the vector space Rn. Theorem. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix. Let A be an n by n matrix. Number one. An eigenvalue of A is a scalar lambda such that the determinant of lambda i minus A equals zero. Interesting. So, Lambda is an eigenvalue of A if the determinant of lambda i minus A equals 0. Number 2. The eigenvectors of A corresponding to lambda are the non-zero solutions of the homogeneous system lambda i minus A times x equals 0. Observe that lambda is simply a scalar, a real number i is the n by n identity matrix so lambda i minus a is some matrix called that b so what we have here is bx equals zero and that gives us the homogeneous system bx equals zero now we know the homogeneous system always has a solution the trivial solution but here we are talking about the non-zero solutions of lambda i minus a, all of that x equals zero. Before we look at a few examples, let us look at this note. Number one, the equation 
determinant of lambda i minus a equals zero is called the characteristic equation of a. Now, when expanded to polynomial form, the determinant of lambda i minus a actually equals lambda to the n plus c n minus one lambda to the n minus one plus plus c one lambda plus c zero. Observe that this is a polynomial, and we call this the characteristic polynomial of A. This whole thing is the characteristic equation, and the determinant only is the characteristic polynomial. By this definition, the eigenvalues of an n by n matrix A correspond to the roots of the characteristic polynomial. Example 1. Find the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors of the matrix A equals 2, negative 12, 1, negative 5. We will go through this very slowly. It's a very simple problem, but we should be able to get the main ideas from this example. So the first thing is to get the characteristic polynomial of A. Remember the characteristic polynomial is the determinant of lambda i minus a. i is the 2 by 2 identity matrix. So lambda i minus a would give us lambda minus 2, 12, minus 1, lambda plus 5. By the definition of the determinant of a matrix, ad minus bc, that will give us lambda squared plus 3 lambda minus 10 plus 12. Simple factorization would lead us to this final form, lambda plus 1, lambda plus 2. If you can factorize out the characteristic polynomial in this form, then you are almost one half the way to the answer. Okay, now we already have the characteristic polynomial. Let's get the characteristic equation. Determinant of lambda i minus a equal to 0 implies that lambda plus 1 times lambda plus 2 must be equal to 0. Solving this, we get the eigenvalues lambda 1 equals negative 1 and lambda 2 equals negative 2. So we start off with the characteristic polynomial. We get a characteristic equation, and that will lead us to the eigenvalues. Next, we find the eigenvectors corresponding to each eigenvalue. So the eigenvector corresponding to lambda 1 equals negative 1. Remember, we are simply solving the homogeneous system. Lambda i minus a, all of that times x equal to 0. Our emphasis is on the matrix lambda i minus a. So lambda here is negative 1. So negative 1 times i minus a gives us this matrix. Negative 3, 12, negative 1, 4. We plug this into Math Studio, do our reduced row echelon form, and end up with 1, negative 4, 0, zero now that simply means x1 minus 4x2 is equal to zero set x2 equal t we have x equals x1 x2 which equals 4t and t and that simply equals t if you factorize out t from these two components, we end up with 4, 1, where t is non-zero. This actually gives us an eigenspace. So the eigenvector that corresponds to the first eigenvalue, lambda 1 equals negative 1, is x equals 4, 1. Okay, for lambda 2 equals negative 2, we do the same thing and we end up with x equals 
t into 3 1 and for lambda 2 equals negative 2 the eigenvector corresponding to this lambda is 3 1 now let's summarize what we have just done finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors what do we do first of all we have to start with an n by n matrix a form the characteristic equation find the real roots of the characteristic equation for each eigenvalue lambda i find the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda i by solving the homogeneous system lambda i times the identity matrix i minus a all of that times x equal to zero and of course that means you have to use reduce row echelon form on math studio now let's look at a big example find the eigenvalues of this matrix a it's a four by four it has to be a square matrix step one we find the characteristic polynomial it factorizes out nicely now let me tell you this is one of the most difficult steps you would encounter factorizing out the characteristic polynomial in this form if you can get it you won't have the way to your answer now once we get a characteristic polynomial the next thing is to set our characteristic equation and solve for the lambda i's so lambda 1 equals 1 has multiplicity 2 and lambda 2 is 2 and lambda 3 is 3 okay let's concentrate on lambda 1 equals 1 and find the eigenspace that corresponds to lambda 1 equals 1 or we say find a basis for the eigenspace of lambda 1 equals 1 so remember we are interested in lambda i minus a so lambda is 1 i minus a that gives us this matrix plug that into math studio reduce row echelon and this is what we get we read this off as x1 plus 2x4 equal to 0 x3 minus 2x4 equal to 0 and x2 is a free variable put all of these together set your x2 to be equal to s and your x4 to be equal to t both of these are real numbers we have x equals x1 x2 x3 x4 this is what x1 is x2 x3 x4 factorize out s we have 0 1 0 0 plus factorize out t we have 2 0 2 1 the vectors v1 v2 would form a basis for the eigenspace corresponding to lambda 1 or we can say the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda 1 equals 1 are 0 1 0 0 and negative 2 0 2 1 recall that lambda 1 had a multiplicity of 2 try the same procedure for lambda 2 equals 2 and lambda 3 equals 3 and observe that the basis for the eigenspace corresponding to lambda equals 2 is 0 5 1 0 and the basis for the eigenspace corresponding to lambda 3 equals 3 would be 0 negative 5 0 1 Theorem, eigenvalues of triangular matrices. If A is an n by n triangular matrix, then its eigenvalues are simply the entries on its main diagonal. Example, find the eigenvalues of the matrix A. Observe that this is a lower triangular matrix. Let's start off with the characteristic polynomial. The characteristic polynomial is lambda i minus a, the determinant of all of that. And 
recall the determinant of a triangular matrix is simply the product of the elements on the main diagonal so that will be lambda minus 2 times lambda minus 1 times lambda plus 3 and the eigenvalues are lambda equals 2 lambda equals 1 lambda equals negative 3 very easy now you can easily get the eigen spaces for each of these lambdas thank you very much